Well, hey folks, how y'all doing? Welcome back, an old man in the land of grills. You know, we're always doing something different, doing a modification today. We're actually, a lot of you people have said, Tom, why can't there be a rotisserie on the Char Griller Gravity 980? And I said, you're right, why can't we? And that's what we did today. You're right, we installed a rotisserie. Yeah, on this grill, right here. And I'm gonna show you how, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you, uh, I'm gonna show you where to get it from. And uh, obviously if I can do it, so can you. Pretty cool, keep on watching. All right, so here's the rotisserie we use. Uh, I got this off of Amazon. You can see it's by Only Fire. And it is uh, 6012 Universal Grill Replacement Rotisserie. There are probably others out there that'll work too. This is just the one that I chose and I wanted it long enough so I had to cut it off in order to make it fit. But there's some other ones that have um, like brackets that attach to the uh, grill grate and you can do it that way although i wanted to remove the grill grate to give us a little bit more headroom so that's it like i said i'll leave the link down below you can see it's uh 70 bucks but they had five percent off so it's 57.50 so 60 bucks and uh like i said there's a whole bunch of other ones to choose from this just happens to be the one that i chose so keep on going all right let's get started i started by removing my grates and i want to establish uh, a height difference between my high point in my diffuser here and the top of the grill. If you're looking at my diffuser, you see it looks pretty clean. Uh, I cover mine with aluminum foil. I had no idea that that would cause as much controversy as it has. I had to do a whole video on it. When I, when I cover it with aluminum foil, it's just to protect it, make cleaning up easy. And I do put slots. When I put the aluminum foil over, then I do take my knife and cut little slots and open these up. So everybody says, no, no, you're, you're hurting it. Folks, it just makes cleanup easier. Uh, enough said about that. So my height difference right here, if I go to the high point, to I got about 10 and a half inches from the high point to right there. So 10 and a half, so I know right around five and a quarter inches is what I, where I wanna be, is where I'm gonna put my center. And we'll take a look at the outside. And I've already did some ciphering as to where that's gonna line up for, for drilling our hole to go through the actual side. It's gonna be right right in there. And we're gonna center it that way and we're gonna center it up and down too. Uh, without getting in the way of the grate here because I don't wanna do anything with that. If anything, I'm gonna be right on this side. And if we're looking on this side, if you come up this side, it's gonna be this flat part right here. That's about where I'm gonna be drilling the hole. So we'll do some layout work here. Uh, we're gonna drill a pilot hole first, going through both. Now remember, hey, hang on, hey, hang on, remember, remember. You do this to avoid warranty. So just, just letting you know, if, if somebody always always comments, does that avoid the warranty? I would believe it would. So yeah, if you're gonna do this, just keep in mind that uh, you're avoiding the warranty. All right, so on the other side, the charcoal side, charcoal hopper, hopper side, this is the uh, stainless steel uh, bracket that comes with it. And they have an adjustable round thing there that goes like that. And it, and it clears, and that's how it's gonna turn like that. And that's adjustable. Uh, and, and that's why I got this kit, because I have to cut this, I have to cut this bar in order to make this fit. So this, this side right here, you're saying, well, what's that for? That looks important. Well, if this was gonna be something that was gonna go outside the grill, there's a handle that goes on there. But in this case, it's not going to be. We're gonna be putting it on, and this side is going to ride kind of like that. And then this is gonna go like that, but we gotta, we gotta cut the thing off in order to make it work. So that bracket, once again, I'm gonna probably do this bracket first and then I'll lay out based on, because once again, I don't wanna get in the way. I wanna leave this bracket in there so I don't want it in the way of this. So that bracket is gonna go probably right like that right there. And we're just gonna use some sheet metal screws and that should hold it in real nice. All right, got that first bracket in folks. I'm, I'm just using um, sheet metal screws here. I'm, forgot what size. Tens, tens by half inch by stainless steel, these guys. And then uh, fender washers, stainless stainless steel fender washers there, 3 16th by one inch. And uh, we, we just, I, I pre-drilled and then I just used regular screwdrivers so I don't strip them out. And uh, it's, that's what it is right there. All right, next step is what I did was I laid out what I had for center there. Kind of using my bracket here as a guide, and I know my brackets are consistent each side. 
So measuring off the brackets made it easy. And then I just drilled the pilot hole all the way through. So now I know where that's gonna come out and that'll be my hole where the spittle come, come in. And then I'll use that as the center point to attach this bracket, which then holds the rotisserie motor. So we'll uh, probably drill this hole next and then attach that bracket. All right, got to spit through. Obviously got a long ways to go. Uh, my biggest metal drilling bit was half inch, but I've had one of these and I'm not truly really sure where I ever got. In fact, I think I got it from my dad and my dad's been gone for, for many sakes, 15 years now. And it cuts metal and I, I find myself using this more and more. So I, I drilled the half inch, then I just used this, I think it's three quarters, and, and just burred out the rest and ground out the rest. You can see it gives a nice clean cut on the outside. So we're gonna put on that uh, bracket that holds the motor next. Make sure that you're vacuuming up all, everything on the inside too, because obviously you don't want to get any shavings in your food. All right, so there's the motor mount. We got that on. We put that in sideways to give us a little bit more room. Typically they would be turned like this, but actually these, you can put these on either way. And if you're looking at it, it then gives you better access to your on off switch right there. And then I just put the spit through there so you can see where that attaches and then through the hole like that. And then that whole thing, that motor comes, slides, oops, whoopsie doodles, sorry, tripped. Comes right off the uh, bracket like that. And then I use some self tappers, some bigger self, stainless steel self tappers with uh, some stainless steel fender washers. That ain't going nowhere, folks. And this metal on this side is a little bit more beefy than it was on the inside over there. So this held, this hole is very, very nice. All right, here's kind of the nervous moment because you, you only got one shot to, to get this right. I, I want to go over that bracket over on that end by about a half inch. And then I'm measuring right to where this threads end. And we're looking right around 17 inches is what I'm going to cut what I'm gonna cut this end off at, at 17 inches from the, uh, where are you? There you are, from this side. So I'm gonna measure 17 inches, mark it, and cut it. I'm gonna measure again to make sure I got that right, because like I said, you only get one shot. Yeah, if it's long, it's okay. If it's short, mm, not so good. All right, there's no going back now. 17 inches. <laughs> those corners and then uh, I already know that this thumb screw is gonna be long so I'm gonna have to grind this down a little bit also all right and she turns as you can see we eliminated the thumb screw the thumb screw wasn't gonna make it so I went through my uh, bin of bolts and found one that did fit cut it to size and uh, you can see it, it's tight I could have cut that I could have cut that another eighth but it does clear as you can see right right there and we'll go through the whole process as to uh, how to put this on and take this off because it it is tight in there but it will work so i'll tell you what let's uh let's uh, i'm gonna get the uh spits on there i'm not gonna put anything on there today uh and, and we should talk about this threaded connection i'm gonna watch that and then i think there is such a thing as um, um loctite high temp loctite that we can put on that just to assure that that never comes apart on you all right so to make this work in order to put spit on more it's got to be off Brackets on, motors off. That's just the only way it works, folks. And then uh, you, what you would do is you would pick up, get you back here so you can see. You would pick up your spit with your meat on it. You would come in at an angle, come in at an angle, like this, sorry. And then set it on your bracket like that. So it's sitting just like that. And that's how that looks right there. In fact, you might have to push it a little bit further. Yeah, like that. So that back end <laughs> is up there, and then that's all that's sticking, sticking out for your mortar. Then you attach your mortar. Folks, I'm figuring this out as you're figuring it out. We do this, uh, I don't hide anything. I don't practice. Mortar goes on like that. And then back to over here. Move this a little bit so you can see. And then the uh, spit would come on to your brackets and then into your mortar. 
like that. And that's how that would sit on there. And then you just turn the whole thing on. And away we go. All right, so the next thing I know a lot of you people are yelling right now at the computer, what about the hole? What about the hole? What do you do with the hole when you're not using the spit? I'll address that next. All right, so to block off the hole when you're not using it, remember those stainless steel uh, fender washers? <laughs> Got two of those with a uh, thumb screw that I had and a nut that I had and just installed it like that. And then they use the uh, rotisserie, just take it off and then don't lose it. And when you're done, put it back on. Super simple, folks. Uh, remember, if I could do it, so can you. All right, all done, all done, folks. Uh, super simple. That didn't really even take me very long since I, I had no idea what I was going to do before I did. I thought about it a little bit, but, you know, until you start drilling holes and voiding the warranty, you honestly don't know where it's going to go and how long it's going to take. This took me about two two hours. Uh, now that I showed you how to do it, I'm sure a lot of you will have some a lot better ideas how to do this a lot simpler, how to make it work easier. You'll probably even, some of you will probably even find a better setup to work in there, but this is the one I chose. And, uh, you know, it's just a matter of time before I hook a couple chickens on there and see how well it works. So hope this was helpful. Uh, thumbs up, leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And as always, folks, I can't say it enough. Truly, truly, thank you for watching. Thank you.